Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. Today's video is on my updated skincare routine. Now you guys have been asking me to post this for quite a while now and I have to say thank you very much for being patient uh, and finally here it is. So this video is my morning skincare routine. As you know, there are so many products out on the market and if you listen to the advertising and the hype on every single one of them, it'll make your head spin trying to decide which one is best, which one's right for you, which one you can afford. You know, I was a sun worshiper and when I was younger and so all that uh, time in the sun and damage had finally come home and was showing on my face where it never really had before. I felt like my skin was always, you know, pretty good and young looking until I turned 50. So um, before that, I was the kind of person who would run out and try every little thing. But I wasn't looking at the ingredients or knowing what my skin needed to um, look better and look healthier overall. So in the two years since then, I've decided to really educate myself because you know, you can't believe everything that they're telling you. There are no rules and regulations around cosmeceuticals, which is what this category of skincare is called. It's cosmetic and it's also a little bit pharmaceutical. Most of it is not um, FDA regulated. And so here in America, the advertisers can say whatever they want. So um, I kind of got tired of the advertising and I kind of get got tired of just plunking my money down and bringing stuff home and not liking it and finding it didn't give me the results I was looking for. So that's when I decided to start becoming an educated consumer. So I started reading a lot about what are the active ingredients that you can buy over the counter or through prescription that can actually help aging skin to look better. The active ingredients that I look for are the vitamin A's, the vitamin C's, niacinamides, the antioxidants, and peptides. The last factor that I use to help determine which ingredients I'm going to use is price. Uh, I use like 16 products a day on my skin. There's a lot of layering going on. There's a lot of different things. If each of those products cost 50 or 125 bucks, this routine would be a fortune because of course it all runs out in a couple of months and you have to rebuy everything. So I look for things that have quality ingredients but at a reasonable price point. So these are the products that I use every day in the morning for anti-aging and moisturization and sun protection. Okay, so here comes the morning skincare routine. In the morning when I wash my face I use CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. All right, this I get at Walgreens. It retails for about 15 bucks for this big uh, container of it. It's uh, 12 fluid ounces, so this lasts quite a long time. Uh, the reason I like this is because it contains ceramides and hyaluronic acid and glycerin. Now, ceramides are fats that um, communicate with your skin cells and help to keep them healthy. A hyaluronic acid is a water binding molecule that kind of sits on the surface of skin and moisturizes and glycerin is also a very moisturizing ingredient. Um, so this cleans without stripping the skin's moisture barrier. Then I lightly pat my face dry with a nice soft microfiber towel and I actually leave it a little damp because uh, your skin is great at absorbing water. It's not so great at absorbing everything because some of the molecules are just too big to be absorbed, but the ones that are small enough to be absorbed, the water helps it to really get in there well. The next thing I apply is my vitamin C serum, and this is the one that I buy. It's from Timeless Skincare. This is $25 on their website, um, and this is a 20% vitamin C solution with vitamin E and ferulic acid. In the research that I've read, um, the vitamin E and the ferulic acid make the vitamin C eight to 16 times more effective. So what I'm looking for on the label is L-ascorbic acid when I'm looking for vitamin C because the research I've looked at said that it is the one that actually is absorbed the deepest into the skin and therefore actually works the best. And being an antioxidant, what it does is um, it scavenges free radicals and they're, they're just like these bad guys in your skin that are caused by sun and pollution and they go around like breaking down the scaffolding of your skin. It's a clear liquid with a watery texture um, and as with all L-ascorbic acid 
serums, it does oxidize over time. So you can only expect this to last for three months, to stay fresh for three months. Once it starts turning yellow, it is no good. And I have a video on how to make it last a little bit longer, so if you want to see that, click this link right here, and you can see how I make my my uh, C serum last for more like five months instead of three months before it oxidizes. Then after that, lately I've been using another product from Timeless. This is the Timeless Matrixel 3000 serum. So it retails for about $25 on the Timeless website. So Matrixel 3000 is basically a mix of two peptides. It's clear that peptides work. They help with collagen synthesis, they make skin um, firmer, and they help with reducing irritation and, and inflammation. This particular Matrixel formula also contains aloe, glycerin, and hyaluronic acid, three very moisturizing ingredients. So that's why I put it on second. It makes my skin feel great. As you can see in the video, I put it on my eyelids. I put it on my lips. I put it everywhere, <laughs> okay? It looks like a clear water, but it's less of a watery texture. It's a little more of like an oily feel, but it absorbs right in. It doesn't leave me slick or shiny or anything like that. It just soaks right in super quick. My poor neck. <laughs> um, has been having a problem lately. It is super sensitive. The skin of the neck, um, as well as the skin under the eyes, can be extra sensitive. And so I had been putting all of my anti-aging creams and things on my neck. As you saw, I could put the vitamin C serum on my neck. I could put the Matrixel on my neck, but I am unable to use my Retin-A on my neck. So instead, I have been using rosehip oil instead. And this is a natural oil. It's all organic, uh, but it's uh, high in vitamin A, which is what tretinoin is. But this is like a 20 times weaker cousin to that, okay? So you put this on, it's going to take a lot longer to work, but it doesn't irritate my neck. So this one is called Aura, uh, Aura Restoring Rosehip Oil with Vitamin E. I picked it up at Whole Foods. And I was interested in trying it. I've been using it for about a month now. I'm not sure that I really see a big difference and really that I should see a big difference because if we know that prescription tretinoin takes at least six months to work, why would this work in a month if it's 20 times weaker, right? So based on that, it's gonna take a couple of years to work. I don't know if I'm gonna stick with this when it's empty. Um, I might, I might not. I might switch to an over-the-counter retinol. I'm thinking of using the Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair to see if I can put that on and not have any irritation on my neck. Then the next thing I apply is my daily moisturizer. I am not using a moisturizer with sunscreen. I like to do it separately so that I'm getting a nice moisturization because it is winter, the air is so dry here, and then I do the sunscreen, sunscreen separately. I am still with the CeraVe PM for my daytime moisturizer. So I know it says PM, but it only means that it doesn't contain sunscreen. The reason that I love this is because it has so many of those great ingredients that I talked about. It's a glycerin base and it's really moisturizing, but it also contains niacinamide and ceramides. And you'll see quite a few of the products that I use contain niacinamide. I'm going big into niacinamide this year. Niacinamide is vitamin B3 uh, derivative. It is an antioxidant, like many of the other antioxidants. It is has anti-inflammatory properties. Uh, it improves the skin's barrier function, and it inhibits pigmentation, and it improves wrinkles. So I'm loving this stuff. It's about $11, $12, um, and I usually find it at Walgreens or CVS or Walmart. All right, so then the last step for the daytime is the sunscreen. And uh, I had always recommended the Neutrogena sunscreens. I still do. I think they're fantastic. When I was having that terrible bout with hormonal acne, I found that the chemical sunscreens really irritated my skin and um, all that irritation I think was having making the acne worse. I since then have decided to go chemical free on the sunscreen. So I'm now looking for and using 100% uh, mineral sunscreens. And boy, is it hard to find one that looks good. They all make you shiny or white. And so unless you're gonna wear makeup over it, it is not gonna look good. And there are days when I don't wanna wear makeup. I just wanna put on my sunscreen and go, and you can't with him. <laughs> I haven't found one. I am on the hunt. I'm actually working on a video in which I'm hoping to find one that is great. For now, what I'm using is the La Roche-Posay Anthelios 50 Mineral. And here is that product.
This is a mineral tinted sunscreen. I didn't realize it was tinted when I bought it. I didn't necessarily want tinted, but I've used it like for a month or so now, and I gotta say, I really like it. It still leaves me a little bit shiny, but not as shiny as some of the other ones, and the tint in it definitely covers up the whitish cast. It's very sheer. You like, you know, it's not like a foundation. It is broad spectrum UVA and UVB protection. Uh, it contains titanium dioxide as the only sunscreen. So there's that, and then the very last step is I protect my lips from the sun as well. I use the Blistex 5 Star because it's an SPF of 30. And you know, it's hard to find lip things that have anything above a 15, so that's why I love this one. It's, it's sheer, it's matte, doesn't make my lips shiny or look bad. So I put that on in the morning before I head out the door. So that is my morning skincare routine in a nutshell. Let me know if you have any questions about it. If you want um, to see uh, the products up close and personal in more detail, you can hop on over to my blog and take a look at it all there. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful and informative. And as always, thanks so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. And if you wanna pop over to the evening skincare routine, again, the link is right here. And you can go over and watch that one now and see what I do in the evening. So as always, thanks for watching everybody and take care. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.